the other piece, and I'm going to pick on Bob a little bit because Bob is actually not like this, but there's a strange game, and I think it's subconscious that I see people get into. It's, let's say Bob explains something to me logically. Okay, and that's all right. I needed that. My next response might be an emotional, I want him to hear something emotional or what I feel about that technical problem or technical advice. Well, one of the classic dysfunctional mistakes that all of us make is that Bob's lizard gets worried that he's going to have to deal with my feelings, and so he pushes some more logic back. And then I go, oh, well, yeah, okay, well, no, I, I, I understand that, and I'm, I, well, but, but, but what I'd really like you to hear, and he pushes more logic back. I go, well, yeah, I, you know, I'm, I'm, you see, what's happening is sometimes, yes, you are explaining, but I got a sneaking suspicion that sometimes what you're doing is you're pushing the feelings back on the other person saying, no, no, let's just do logic. I don't want to do the feelings. Let's just, uh-uh, uh-uh. And what begins to happen now is I'm in the tug of war with Bob. I'm trying to say, he's trying to say, I'm trying, I want emotions. No, no, first, uh, let's do logic, emotional logic. Now, we're ready, oh, double to, team. we're ready to have a fight here. Whether we're on the same team, or he's, he's my doctor, or whoever, this is, this is how fights start sometimes even before you can quite see them. Because now all I'm doing is pushing against him and he's pushing against me. He's using logic, I'm using emotion, or he's using emotion, I'm using logic, whatever. But we're doing it to push against each other very different than if he does the logic and I hear the logic and I say, okay, so I get that problem. Here's how I feel about it. And he says, yeah, I get how you feel about it. Now notice he's not pushing and I'm not pushing. And now we don't have to push.